D, wait for it. Light bulb. I got the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So I just got done watching uh, What If, uh, episode four. And I have to say that this episode was a little bit better. I know I've been harsh on this show and everything, uh, because it's not that good. I don't think the writers or Marvel, really, I don't think Disney Marvel really understands what What If comic books were about. Um, I think that they they just, I, I really just don't think they understand the concept of What If and, and those kind of comic books, which is fine. Um, this is their own take on it. I get that and everything, but I've just been really frustrated because this, this animated show was the thing I was the show that I was looking most forward to. I really was. And it just didn't, uh, it just has not, none of their shows have delivered at all, especially this one. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. But as far as this episode goes, um, it wasn't bad. There were things that I liked about it. It's just, uh, you know, Sorry, I need a little libation. It just, is, I don't know. It's just not clicking with me, which really bums me, <laughs> bums me out so much. But, uh, but like I said, this show wasn't that bad. So I'm going to break it all down in a minute. But I like Doctor Strange going bad, a little bad, a little naughty Doctor Strange and everything. But um, it was just, it, I don't know. It was interesting. And I mean, we're probably going to, we're all these are going to be connected, which also kind of bothers me. But it's like, whatever. I mean, what are you going to do kind of thing? All right. So, uh I'm going to stop talking right now and we're going to get into breaking this sucker down. So the first thing I'm going to do, oh shoot. My bad. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is, oh, so the first thing that happens is uh, we see the credits and it's the watcher doing his thing and he's just talking, you know, about one moment. Although last week we didn't have that one moment. So that, that blows your, your whole one moment theory out the door. So stupid, these writers. And then they does this little thing and, uh, you know, shatters and it, it asks the question of what if. So in this moment, um, I mean, there's two what ifs. Cause like in this one, he invites Rachel to go to the little party with him before Rachel didn't go with him. And, uh, but she comes out. And I believe uh, Rachel McAdams voiced this. I don't know. I don't care. But Benedict Cumberbatch did voice uh, this one. Um, but she comes out and she's all like, uh, you know, you look great. And he's like, I just, it's just dry cleaning. You look fantastic, yada, yada, yada. So she gets in and she's like, you uh, you uh, uh, promised me creme brulee and everything. Creme brulee is just so good. It's not as good as um, um, tiramisu, but it's creme brulee is okay. So they're driving and they're driving on the, the road that he drove in the movie where he had his car crash. And they're talking. She's like, how are you going to do your speech? And he's like, I'm going to be like, ladies and gentlemen. She's like, no, no, no. You need to run up, give everybody high fives and uh, do it like a game show contestant. And uh, he uh, they gets behind a truck and he's like, hmm, I want to go around this sucker, which is like so annoying. Like you're on a two lane road on the top of a mountain, asshole. Don't go. You don't get around people. It's so stupid. So he tries to go around and there's a car and they're like, ah, and everything. But they they do just fine. They get back over and they, they, he survives. He doesn't go over the thing like he did in the movie. So they're sitting there like, hey, we're okay. And then this car comes up behind him and makes him crash. And so they crash into the river. This is so dark. Crash into the, to the, to, to the river and he looks over and Rachel is dead. And so he's at her funeral and everything. And, and then he goes on a, a, a journey and he becomes a sorcerer at the school and everything, just kind of like the, what he did with the, the first, uh, that's a uh, Dr. Strange movie. And, you know, he defeats, uh, he learns that and he defeats Dormammu like he did before. Uh, but he keeps remembering Rachel and how, and he, he's, you know, pondering the past cause it's time and everything. And Wong's all like, I couldn't sleep. He, he's like sitting there and he's like, you couldn't sleep on. Huh? He's like, I couldn't sleep either. And he's like, I'm going to go put the kettle on before you, you should join me before you make a bad decision. Now, this is also another uh, what if moment, I guess, because he has a choice to make and he decides he's going to go back in time. So he does. And he, he transports himself here and he sees her and he's all like, yeah, I love her and everything. And they're having a conversation and, and he goes to get over again. And he, he it happens the same way. OK, um, and so uh, he happens again the second time they, they, do, they go a different way, but she gets hit by they get hit by a truck and she dies. This time a, a tire goes flat. 
Um, this time they, they, you know, one time they make it to the party and she has a heart attack. At least that's what I think it was. Uh, you know, the next time they they go for pizza instead and there's a robber and everything. And every time he goes back, oh, then this one, the wheel breaks or whatever. So every time they go back, she ends up dying. She dies. And this one, he leaves her behind. He doesn't come to the pick her up at all. He goes to a bar and her apartment explodes and she dies and everything. So, and he's, and he's sitting here. He's like, why can't we have this? Why can't we be happy? And she's like, let me drive. So then she drives, same thing. They crash in the car and she dies. And so he's crawling out. And then all of a sudden the ancient one appears and she's all like, listen, she's like, Rachel dying is a, I can't remember an exact moment. So it has to happen. It's always going to happen. There's no changing it. She, she has to die. That's a fixed moment. I think that's what they call it. It's a fixed moment. And he's like, it can be changed. And she's like, no, it can't be. And he's all like, I can change it. She's like, no, you can't. She's like, if you're going to be under down on this path, I'm going to have to stop you. She gets her little fans out and then she blasts at him. And we'll find out what she did later. So she blasts at him in a big explosion. He ends up in some, you know, thing because, oh, he's talking about like, there's the libraries of, of this person. I can't remember what they're called. And he's all like, we can try to learn how to do all this. And she's like, no. And she, the whole time she's just like, no, you can't change it. If you do, it's, it will destroy the world. It, it, it's, it's, you know, uh, the, the ramifications are astronomical. She gets this guy and he's talking to him, you know, like how foreigners talk to other people. He's like, can you take me to blah, 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 and everything all slow and like all, you know, rude. And so the guy leaves and they go to this mountaintop and he's all like, no stairs, clever. And he does his little, little ring thingy. And he sees these runes and he wipes those away and everything. And then he falls down on the floor and this guy appears and he's like, he's like, you dress strange for a wizard. And he's all like, it's Armani. And he's like, that's very, he's like, and then he's like, uh, something come with me, um, this wizard Armani. And he's like, no, it's strange. He's like, it is a strange name, but you know, whatever. I like how he kind of, you know what he reminds me of when he had the hat on, hold on, I'll go back real quick. He with this hat on and the staff that he has, you know, he reminds me of if you've ever seen the, the anime Ronin Warriors, there's the ancient one on that one. And he's got this little staff and that hat and everything and these kind of robes things. I just remember that. That's, that's fun. I wonder if they got inspiration from that. Probably not. I'm just, you know, that's my, and he kind of remind me of Raiden. Anyway, so they go to this little thing. And we saw this in the trailer and everybody thought this was the tree of life. I don't know if it's the tree of life right from Thor, but if it is cool, if it's not, whatever. And it's this library. So he's pulling out all these books and he's going over them like crazy. And he figures out that you have to take on other beings, like other uh, magical beings to get enough power to reverse and stop a fixed moment. So the first thing he does is he gets, he opens up a doorway to this squid creature. Now I, this was from the first episode with Captain Carter and I said it was a flargan. I still think it's a flargan because they haven't said what it is and, and just the squid creature, like get out of here with that. So he's like, Hey, squid creature, can I have one of your tentacles and everything? And I'm like, oh, what, why are you asking this guy? And it attacks him and he wakes up and this guy's all like, you know, you, you can't do this. You're, you're just, uh, you're just opening a book of, of, of trouble kind of thing. And he's all like, all right, I need to start small. And he gets this little gnome, which looks like a garden gnome, which hey, good job writers <laughs> and everything. And he, he takes it on. He like, in, it, it goes inside him. So then he's all like, he does it again. He gets this bug thing where he takes the cape from the bug. And then he's like, I don't do bugs kind of thing. Uh, but he has this cool little, you know, a negative to his other cape and he gets this bird creature and he takes on the bird creature and then this dragon creature and then this two headed goat creature, this weird creature thing, he, this monkey bat creature thing. And the watcher is watching him and he's all like, uh, he's like, I could say something, uh, but I'm not supposed because I'm not supposed to, but he wouldn't listen if I did anyways, he would just keep doing what he's going to do. And then Steven is in here. And he's like, hello. And everything. So, uh, and he's like, is anybody there? And he's, and so he can sense the watcher. Like he knows somebody watching. He gets this deer creature and he's just, he's just eating them all up. I'm, 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 and everything. So delicious. And so uh, centuries go by or whatever. He gets this snake. Oh, I missed the, the thing before that. It was like a, 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 a tiger thing or a lion thing. Anyways, this snake creature, this weird thing. He's just transforming into all of these. Until finally he has enough. And he's like, hello, old friend. And he 
cuts off the portal and it cuts off these little tentacles and they climb up on him and he becomes, you know, a uh, Supreme Sorcerer Supreme or whatever it is, like Nacho Supreme. So just a little extra on there anyways. And so he uh, goes to the little, the little dude that was in there. And he's all like, he's all like, I can, I can heal you. I can make you younger. You don't have to die. And he's like, no, dying is a part of life. And he's like, you're not living because you're not a full man. You're only half a man. And so what he realizes is, so he goes, so then it, it jumps back because what I, and we'll talk about it in just a second. And it goes back to the moment where Wong is all like, I'm going to go make some tea before you make a bad decision. And he's like, you're right. And he puts down the eye of Agamotto. And then he comes out, he comes outside and the world is all messed up it is just tearing itself apart like look at that it's gross i don't like this visual but whatever and the ancient one comes out and he's all like but you died and she's like think of me as an echo so she's just like a time blip or whatnot but not the blip uh and everything and she tells him she's like i went back and i i, I fought you and when i did that I, when she did that thing with her thing and she blasted him she split him into two creating a multiverse in this one world so there are a, a two a parallel two different timelines in a parallel world. Like it's 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 you know in the same world, a parallel timeline in the same world. I don't know, don't ask anyways. And he's all she's all like the only one that can stop him is you. So then he goes in and Wong and him are doing protection spells while Wong is disappearing. He is turning into that black dude like in front of him. And he's like, uh, this protection spell, and he puts it all over his face. Uh it looks like SpaghettiOs on his face. That's funny. Uh, and uh, and then he's like, how are you going to find him? And he's like, it looks like he found me kind of thing. He falls through this hole and he's like, good luck and everything. So he falls through and he hits the ground. And he's sitting here and he's like, he's like you. He's all like, uh, he's like, you know, I did this for her. I love her kind of thing. I can't remember exactly what he said. And then they flash back to that moment. And they're, they're, he's all like, you need to, you need to, I need to take you into me kind of thing take on me take on me anyways uh so then uh he can't do it because he's got those protection spells on his face and so he's all like he's all like you know you can't bring her back kind of thing we should not do this and then he's like i'm gonna take it so he's like i'm gonna take you um i'm gonna take you anyway so then they start fighting and the fighting was pretty cool i did enjoy it i like the wizard battles uh, or the sorcerer battles it's very cool have these tentacles breaks through his shield spell and grabs him by the neck you know and the whole time he's just knocking off pieces of spaghettio spell spaghettios and they're fighting he wraps him with this thing um and he electrocutes him knocks him off he sends these little wormy things after and he's just blasting those wormy things and he flies he grabs him in this little spell right here and he gets him but the cape flies off the evil cape and attacks him. And then his other cape, his, his regular cape, uh, 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 they, the cape start fighting. I think I got some screenshots in here of that. And uh, he falls and then he opens up a portal to the, right next to him. And here, there they are. The capes are fighting. And I do like the animation here. It's very cool. They're fighting and everything. And then um, uh, he blasts, uh, or he sends these little ropes things and then he uh while he's captured he blasts him but he can't hurt him because he's got the face spells the spaghetti 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 face spells and they start falling off one by one so then the the, the cape his cape comes and wraps himself around evil dr strange and he melts and he blasts it off and everything and then it's just this big white ball and while he's doing that he's behind him in the shadows and so he grabs him from the shadows and pulls him into the shadows and he's in and he lights up a light and he's in this little melty world whatever this is going on and Doctor Strange puts up this illusion of uh, Rachel, and she's all like, "I love you." And he's like, "I do too," but you're not real because he gets these flashbacks, and he's all like, "I'm gonna defeat you," kind of thing. And he knocks off all the stuff. Like he, he just starts punching him, and every punch he knocks off like a handful of Spaghettio spells, and until it's got the one, last one that Wong put on him, and he removes it. And once he does that, he takes good doctor strange into him and he becomes the ultimate being and in doing that he reverses time and he stops the car from uh, rachel from dying and she's brought back to life and he comes to her he, she comes to him but he's all like morgified and all gross and he's like she's like what what's going on and he's like rachel rachel it's me and she's oh she's he's all like rachel it's me and she's like 
no, no. Oh God, this is a nightmare. Oh God. And she starts to dissipate. And I'm all like, oh, this is all for naught uh, because uh, she's starting to die. And he is all mortified and looking gross and everything. Look at his face. Ugh. Anyways. Um, and he's like, no. And he lifts up this rock and everything. And he's on this thing. And then the world starts to collapse around him and he blasts it and he creates this little shieldy world ball. And he's like, help me, help me stop this. And he watchers like, watchers like, I can't. Uh, he's all like, he's like, I can't. I, if I wanted to, I couldn't help you. And he's like, you knew what you were doing. You, you were born. He's like, I, 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 I know. Sorry, I'm taking off my sock because it's hot in here. Uh, he's like, I know. He's like, but punish me, not the world. Don't punish the world because of my bad mistakes. And so and the watcher's like, I'm sorry, I can't help you, dude. This is you, you, this is, you know, the, uh, a, the consequences to your actions. You, you, sorry, life's a bitch and you messed up. So he leaves him and Rachel starts to die. She starts to go melty. And he's finally left alone in this little purple ball. And that's the end of the episode. Hold on, let me just put this. Yeah, I'll put this episode. Right, I talk. And so I liked it because I thought the action sequence was really cool. I did like seeing uh, Rachel McAdams' character back. Um, I didn't like seeing her die, but whatever. Um, and I just, um, like, this is the thing. This episode was very, like, um, from a scale of one to ten was a five. Uh, the other episodes were definitely a one or two, uh, especially those first two were a big fat one. The second one was like a two, may probably a one also. So this one's like a five. So it's like a, a step up. Um, I did, you know, I, I just uh, it was, it was just okay. It was okay, and but better than the last three. The last three sucked. So so yeah, that's my thoughts on it. I really don't have too much to say about it. Like as far as like all the other stuff goes it's just this show has just really disappointed me so much and it really bums me out like i'm really bummed that it that it, it didn't deliver for me if it delivered for you by all means good because i i want it to be good for somebody because i just can't get behind this show i'm trying so hard i can't get excited about it every week because they've already let me down and it just bums me out like because i was like i said this was the show like everybody was all like, oh, Loki, WandaVision. Uh, no one was like uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Nobody was like that. But me, I was all like, what if is the show that is going to get me pumped for uh, phase four and beyond? But it's not. It's not getting me pumped at all. So, so yeah, that's my thoughts on this episode. Uh, you know, hopefully next week is is better than this episode so I can start liking the show. So that's my thoughts on this episode and the show all together. Tell me what you guys thought about this episode. Did you like this episode? Where does it rank on the, the four episodes that they've aired so far? Do you like what if? And if you do, good. Um, if you don't, tell me why. Tell me why you like it. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know I won't mind. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on uh, my next uh, breakdown and review for what if next week. You guys have a good week. Bye. Bye.